This is a quick video just to show the different stages of cooking. So this is when I first put the fruit into the pan. Um, it's still very watery. Uh, you can see whole fruit. And then we go into uh, about 15 minutes in, 10 or 15 minutes in, you can see that the uh, there's a lot less water. The, the mixture has been reduced. Um, the, the, bubble, the bubbles are a little more crackly. And then we'll see the same thing with peaches. Um, and this is taking the temperature at around 10 or 15 minutes. And it's just about at 212 at this point. So it's still pretty watery. Uh, and then we come into the last stage of cooking at about 25 or 30 minutes. And you can hear that the bubbles are very crackly. There's very little water left in this and it looks very jammy. And um, so I'm taking the temperature again. And sometimes it takes a while to come up to heat, so come up to the temperature. So you have to hold your hand over the pot and hope not to burn it. So sometimes you can do this by sight, but it's better to use a thermometer to be sure. So 222 to 224 is the magic is the magic range. And then, so here I'm filling up the jars, and I figured out at one point that my ladle is about four ounces, so it's easy to fill up four ounce jars with this ladle. So you want about a quarter of an inch between the top of the jar and the, the fruit, and you also need to clean off the rim with, from any jam that gets onto it, because that's a, it's a way for bacteria to get in. So you put it on lightly, and then I would suggest doing this with two oven mitts, because the jars are in fact very hot. Um, the lids aren't too bad if you get them quickly enough. And you want to handle these as gently as possible. You don't want to slosh them around for, for... And then, and you're done.